I'm Simon Harmer. I'm well known in the folk world as a step dancer and teacher. Hi, my name is Sasha Bilosicki. I'm the founder of Funk Format and Soul Rockos. I'm a movement artist, hip hop dance educator, and a theatre producer. Sasha and I got together to create Step Your Way as part of our research into dance heritage and how styles are interrelated. We wanted our participants to become aware of the heritage of popular dance of the modern era as well as that of Maritime Portsmouth, their hometown. We also wanted participants to understand how some of the dance styles they dance today have evolved over many years and especially the influence on this evolution by vernacular dance, African dance and black dances. As our heritage focus we had chosen steps from 200 years ago, Miss Gayton's Hornpipe. From our knowledge of each other's dance background, we knew that the hornpipe and street dance styles often share similar mechanics of movement, yet differ in execution of the technique, such as posture, rhythmic emphasis and body weight placement. In this project we've mixed hornpipe, street style and African body percussion. We've also discussed how dance can make you feel and help with challenges in your life. This has been very pertinent in this time of lockdown when we've had to work online as well as in the studio. One of my dance teachers shared it online and my mum showed me it. And I was like, I might as well give it a go. Something different, not what I'm used to. I've been going to Funk Format with Sasha for three years now and I heard they were doing this so I thought I might as well sign up because I thought it might be fun and it might help me expand my knowledge of dance. Because I take dance at school I wanted to learn um, like theory about it and how like terminology is well and I wanted to learn um, different types of dance genres beside the classical ones. The most memorable part for me would probably be all the Zoom classes because it shows that we are all committed to the project and we all want to do it and learn about all different dance forms. The most memorable thing is probably the hornpipe because it's different. I've never learned it before, whereas some of the other dance moves you see more often, like nowadays, whereas the hornpipe you don't see it as often. This kind, this kind of style we were doing originated from uh, the sailors and even from the, the slaves taken away from Africa. That's where the dancers came from. The way that it was also performed in Portsmouth as well, and all around Portsmouth, um, especially near here as well, it's not far from here, where um, the hornpipe was performed. I've learned loads. Because I've learned some things I didn't even know were true. Like how people would dance for buckets of eels. I find that quite bizarre, but yet interesting. How the hornpipe has gone, like evolved, and the different styles have evolved to become modern day street dance. Charles Dickens actually saw Master Juba do the hornpipe and mix together and documented down. Charles Dickens, why is Charles Dickens linked to Portsmouth? Born yeah. here. Yeah. So he described the hornpipe steps and then said Master Juba did all sorts of different things, mm -hmm. using his body, using his legs, jumping around. So that's where yes. you can see that styles start to get mixing the African pattern Juba style mixed up with the hornpipe style. I'm definitely more interested in where hip hop originated from and street. Whereas before I wasn't too worried about it, I was just kind of dancing it because I liked it. <laughs> Whereas now it's nice to know more of where it came from. The names and like the places of where styles came from. Whereas in other dance classes they just kind of tell you the name but you don't actually know where they've come from. You just do them without any history. Take the BK bounce, it's the same as the hornpipe twist. It's just with um, a different posture found on day one I was very much a street dancer because that's what I've done all my life and so my posture was quite over like I'm meant to be whereas with the horn part you have to be quite upright and so I've definitely learned to change my posture like over the weeks 
to like adapt to the different styles of dance. A, a lot of dance forms that I haven't done before um, and I learned how it's got loads of different ways of performing it so it's not just one way of performing it with facial expressions or body movements it's also with character and um, a very like different way of performing it with your hands as well a certain shape of your hands or something like that If you're going to keep doing the same dance style over and over again, it can get a little bit boring, so you want to explore. So I've definitely learned a lot from the teachers. Hello, I'm Chris Matherall from the InStep research team. All of Tom and Joan Flett's uh, research materials on Miss Gaten's hornpipe are held by the research team archive and we are really pleased that this material is again being used. I originally learned the dance from Joan Flett and I know that she would be absolutely thrilled and delighted to know that young people in 2020 are uh, learning about their heritage through the dance. Hello, my name's Katie Housen. I've been researching the music on a barrel organ taken by Admiral Parry on his Arctic expeditions in the 1820s. Most of the music on the barrel organs was actually dance music and we know that the crew and officers would use it to keep fit during their long voyages. One of the tunes that really took my fancy was called Miss Gayton's Hornpipe and I knew nothing at all about Miss Gayton. She turned out to be a ballet dancer called Esther Gayton who was famous for just one year of her long life and her story rather took my fancy so I looked into the dancers named after her as well as the tunes named after her. The dancers of course weren't ballet dancers but country dancers and solo step dancers. I'm really thrilled that my work has been brought to life by the Step Your Way project. Uh, it's just great to see a practical, artistic, physical result, and especially one that engages with young people in such an imaginative way. <laughs>